Ooh, yeah. What's up, guys? It arrived. Did you ever have a flat tire on your EUC? I had my second now. First on the Master in Taiwan. Now on the Intel 4. So what I did... Ooh, sexy. I ordered a new tire, a different tire. This is the difference. Supposedly a better tire. I do need to say I had a lot of vibrations with this wheel. It's not the right tire. I'm really sure this one will feel so much better. So this video is about how to replace a tire on the Bigot M104. It's not any tear down, disassemble, whatever video. There are really good tear down videos of the M104 on YouTube already. So I will just put your link down in the description if you want to know how to disassemble the motor. From the M104, I will just do this now and show you how to replace the tire. I've never done this. Why would I teach you? Can't be that hard. Anyways, let me just disassemble the wheel really quickly and I will be back in a second. Super transition. So to this point I took 20 minutes. The only problem was to take this one out of this little hole. This was a little annoying. Otherwise it was fine. I took this side off. This side I didn't because it's not necessary. But I didn't realize it. This is my left side. This is my right side. And now I need to take the tire off. I think I have an idea how to do that. a proper way how to disassemble a tire? Probably not, but um, after cutting it all the way through, like a circle, I should be able to get this one off now. The other side is still glued onto this motor. Yeah, that's not really nice. You would expect an easier tire change, at least I did. Impossible. Come on. Ah. And now the other one. I hope I don't need to cut this one open. No, I'm just kidding. And then I saw this video on YouTube how someone put this tire on an electric scooter without any tools, just some soap. So let's try this. disassembly itself. What I forgot to mention is there is a direction on this tire so the cable comes out on the right side so you want to point the arrow in this direction when you because the wheel is spinning like this obviously. Um, so yeah this is how it looks like. I might clean the soap up a little bit and try to put air on it. This will also be an interesting thing. Yeah and what you need is a pot or something similar where you can put the motor on top to just press or maybe you have a hole in your working bench or something uh, I don't have a working bench here um, so you can put the axle through the hole flip, flip, and just I think that would be the best however I was about to give up but something kept me going I'm really happy um, and if you know how to do it I think it goes pretty fast. Anyways, I'm excited. Let's clean it up, pump it up, 
put everything back together and go for red. And something I also haven't mentioned is you want to use a powerful pump. I don't know if this one is powerful enough, I hope though, because with your bare hands just pumping, I don't think you get the pressure by once to just inflate the tire. <sighs> Let's see what happens. Yes, 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 yes! I will keep it at 20 for now. I probably need 30 or something. Good morning and welcome to my first meters on the M104 with a new tire. I can't lie, I rode it around one kilometer yesterday night. Just a little first impression. I really like it. Whoa. Welcome in Luxembourg. I'm really impressed with this tire. It's nice, it's like, it's more a floaty feeling, like more gliding over the street. Um, the other one I had this, how do I describe it? When I was talking at 25, 30 kilometers an hour, it sounded like a, a, like this. Um, and now it's smoother, obviously. And I enjoy it. I might need a little bit more tire pressure. Maybe you can see that even better than me. I just can't see it myself right now. I can just feel it and it feels like it needs a little bit more. I have 30 PSI right now. Everything together, the riding weight might be around 90 kilograms. I think it's worth it to upgrade, to be honest, if you use the wheel quite often. If you just use it once in a while, probably just stick to the original. Oh, and I forgot, let's talk about the price. It was 75 euros and nine cents, and that's equivalent to these many US dollars. Expensive for a tire, I think. It was around 50 euros and the rest was shipping with a discount code and the cheapest website I could find shipped from Italy to Germany. For now, I will just enjoy the tire going to work. Tiny updates on my garage. Uh, I'm about to sell my Vigo T4. It's still not sold, but uh, I think within a few weeks I should be able to sell it. And I'm just about to order a Lynx 50S because I need more speed, usually. With this, it's obviously a lot slower. But it's fun, it's nice. This tire, now riding it, I didn't think about it before, but uh, it might be an essential upgrade, to be honest. Could be like a power pad upgrade. Like always when I buy a wheel, I expect to buy power pads. I put power pads on it already, like it's essential. You lose so much capability of the wheel when you don't use power pads. And with this thing, I feel like you do lose capability of the wheel, not riding a proper tire. I think it's the material that it's a street tire and I think it's worth it. And there you have it, how to change the tire on the Bigot M104. I'm curious, did you change it already? Do you plan to change it? Do you ride a different tire? Do you enjoy the stock tire? My arm is falling off right now, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was any helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. See you soon.